here so you guys can see how easy this is once you get it set up. <clears throat> I've got some brass here that that I've already cleaned a bunch of brass um, and I've already put primers in them. <clears throat> you can do that here in the press but I go ahead and do that before. Put primers in them, they're all clean, the brass is ready to go. Got my bullets um, and I got my calipers set here to look at the uh, to look at the uh, uh, the overall length once I do it and I got a scale sitting here so I can check my um, my powder throws every so often I've got it set to throw pretty much about 23.7 grains <clears throat> but um, I still double check it and the way I do that is before I start I go ahead and zero the case on the scale so it's showing zero and then I'll go ahead and put it in there and get back to my starting point this is the size and die so we got the case cleaned um, primed we run it through the sizer and now the case is back as if it were new and then we go ahead and this puts the powder charge in it I just put that on there. It says 23.5 grains, so that's good. I'm, I'm anywhere between that and 24. I'm happy for this uh, setup. I'm going to put that back in, grab one of the bullets, and set it in there, and then seat it, and then crimp it. Puts a crimp around the edge of it so that uh, the bullets don't back out under recoil. I'm going to do it again. Size. Powder charge. Ooh, that was a double charge. I'd already done that before I put it down. And that's a good thing about using a powder that um, that a regular charge pretty much fills the case. You can't accidentally double charge the case because it will overflow. So I'm going to start over and charge it, size it, charge it. Always peek in there. Set the bullet and crimp it. in here to make sure it fits um, one six one that's your max overall length you don't want, you don't want to exceed size it charge it see the bullet Crimp it. Now when you get you move into some um, progressive presses, you can have four cases going at one time, so every pull produces a bullet. So I'm going to double check this one again. Scale times out and goes off. Set the case on it, zero it. Size it, charge it, 23.8, seat the bullet,
so you can see. They got the press with the different dies. Got my scale bullets. And we got a full 50 there, we got 40 there, and I'm working on my last 50. Anyway, see ya.